Hello everybody, my name is Caleb Hornschmeyer and I am super excited to bring you another lighting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import 3D objects into MA3, um, whether those are custom objects for set pieces or um, lighting fixtures. Um, to do this you're going to need two programs, Rhino CAD software and Blender CAD software. First you're going to use Blender to create the 3D files and export them as OBJs and then Rhino is a converter to convert them into 3D Studio files. If you guys have any other alternatives to this, please let me know because this is a roadblock because after 90 days, if you don't have a paid version, you can't export anymore. So I need your guys' help with that, but I'm going to share this method with you anyway because it's helped me with so many projects. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe and it will be delivered directly to your cell phone or inbox. And let's get into the video. We're going to start off in Blender, and if you've never used Blender before, there is kind of a learning curve, so you may want to spend some time in it. I made a wire mesh to light up. Um, you're probably going to make something different, so stick around once I get everything imported and done, and I'll show you a little bit of Blender and how to use it. Um, for now, though, I'm just going to export this file because you're probably going to make something different. So go to File and Export, and you're going to export it as an OBJ file. I'm going to call this mesh square. And this takes a second depending on how many faces you have. You do want to pay attention to this number because the maximum size for an OBJ file is 35536 before it has to be broken apart into two pieces. And I think that causes an issue with um, Grandma 3. I'll have to touch base on that, but. I did have to shrink this down to uh, one quarter of these faces. Well, no, half of the faces that are shown here um, to make it work. So once you have that exported, go ahead and minimize that. Then you're going to move on to Rhino. Now, this is the only brick wall of this method because you only get 90-day trial free with Rhino. After that, you pay for it. Now. It used to be per computer. I think they made it a license key that transfers around computers now, so you might just have to make a new account if you want another 90 days. That's an unfortunate setback, but if you do want to go on a 90-day binge making as many models as you can, that could work for you. Go ahead and import the file. And all we're using Rhino for is a file converter. Mesh square. Go ahead and hit OK. And then using right click, just kind of check your item, make sure it's correct. That looks correct. So with it selected, you select it just by clicking on it. Go to File, Export Selected. And this one has to be in a 3D Studio file. Okay, it is exported, so we can minimize that. Now the rest of the work is done in Windows Explorer, actually. So what we've got to do, we see our, th oh, where is it? Here we go, our Mesh Square 3D Studio file. Now there's three folders I want to point out to you. Well, two mains, but one auxiliary. This is a custom folder that I made and if you need if you're going to build it right you have to make this folder well you don't have to but it makes it easier and it goes in your grandma 3 directory under meshes set custom and you're going to hit new or right click go to new and new folder to make that custom folder you can name it whatever you want just remember the name cuz you have to use it later so we're going to go to documents find our 3d studio mesh and drop it in our custom folder. Now, I, I didn't quite finish. This is where the 3D objects of MA3D are held, or of Grandma 3. I'm still transitioning. Um, this 3D file is where the 3D objects of the, yeah, the 3D objects of Grandma 2 were held. In Grandma 3, 
you get a patch menu or a patch document. That's not the right term, but basically they're lines of code. But you get them for lights and set pieces, and you're going to have to modify these set pieces a little bit to incorporate in your model. Um, if this goes over your head, I'm going to have to stick around after this and fix my A because I accidentally deleted it. But what I do to make this is hit copy, control C, and V, control, uh, yeah, control V. And I'm going to instantly double click to rename this and name it set at mesh square. Oh, apparently I already, oh, that's the my old document. We don't want that one. So let's just rename this one correctly. And let's edit it. And you have to do that because you can't use save as or it changes the file type. Now, basically we're modding a document. So everywhere you see the word B, we're gonna replace it with our file's name, our 3D file's name. So this is going to be And it is useful to put this in your clipboard just to avoid typos or flip-flopping two words because I've done that before. Short name, you have to replace that. So now that's mesh square. It's still under set. You have to change the dimensions to what you want so this length is going to be 8 feet by 1 feet. And width, that means depth in this case. And then height is 8 feet. Um, and then file, this has to be edited too. It's going to be under custom, your folder and then mesh square, your file name. So once you get your name, short name, dimensions, and file path, your document is made. Go ahead and hit save, then exit out. And if you want to double check it, you can, but it should be good. Cool, it is good. So now that we have mesh square in our folder and our proper XML document made, we're going to boot up MA. Okay, here is a conglomerate of my old files. You can see the lights I have patched and the old um, meshes. So let's go ahead and delete these meshes and I'm going to show you how to import the new fixtures. Insert new fixture and just a reminder you do patch in any 3D non-light objects. Type in mesh square. There it is. That's the one we just made. Now, because I'm about maxed out on polygons, this is going to take a second to load. If it goes over two minutes, you're probably going to run into the you know, 10, 20 minute loading range where I've never gotten past there. Um, I'm pretty sure if you try to load too big a file, it will break. Hey, I want... Okay, I wanted a little more than one of those. Okay, with those imported, let's go ahead and exit. And this will take a second too. And there we go. So I'm not sure how to click and move objects yet. Um, I'm working on one screen so I have to type in everything but basically
Basically, I position them like this. You have to roll these wheels. It's kind of not ideal. But give me enough time and I'll get used to it. If I had a console, that would be a little bit easier. Turn a line on. And yeah, this is a bit big for my lights, but you'll get to at least see the effect. So yeah, there's our custom model. Hopefully you did everything right and you got your own custom model in now. Now I'm going to show you first Blender because that's the hardest part. Your add objects, first off, if you want anything kind of outside the box and know a little bit about Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, and Landscape. That's the mod that I used. Well, it's not a mod, it's built in. You just have to enable it. That's what I used to create that mesh. And then all you have to do is save preferences. So first I'm going to just make the mesh that I built. Um, it's not a plane. I don't know why I did that. Go to add mesh after you have landscape enabled in your things. Go ahead and add a landscape. Um, I double clicked. Okay, yeah, if you click outside that, it'll close this window. But here is your menu. Subdivisions X, 256, subdivisions Y, 256. That's what, these are all the settings that I use to make my square. Now let me show you this. Your vertices, 55, 536. And you probably recognize that number. I think it's the parameters on a grand MA. Um, why won't it let me click up here? If you were to make a long piece of um, mesh, what you would do is set this subdivisions X, which is your length, to 512. So think of DMX dip switches. Bump up one dip switch and then down one dip switch or half and double the numbers you're using. And you get the same amount of vertices. And this will work if you do 1024 by 64 as well. But for this, I use 256 and 256. Your mesh size, that is how big the block is. Noise type, this has to, it usually comes on a mountain. This has to be set to Blender Texture Nodes, which is either on the top or bottom. And then, where's that? Oh, size right here. It's lagging up right now. Size of your noise, that is how big your noise gets scaled to. So if you set that bigger than, um, than your object, it's going to add that texture beyond your objects. It's going to oversize it, which you might want. So once you have all those settings set, you can click out and it will keep those settings. And then go to this modifier properties, add modifier. You're going to do displace. Modifiers are kind of like your effects. So Go ahead and hit this button. Um, you might have to have it selected. Hit new and type go to clouds. That's the one I like best for what I do. Size, you're going to turn that up to spread it out a bit. Kind of looks cool when you do that. And then that is it. It's very simple. Um, if you go to object properties, you can kind of make it flatter. I want to turn it inside out because you could start to mess with wrong layers, but if you want to explore, that's fine. So there, that is the object that I made. Now let me remake this A for you if you got a little bit lost, and then I'll wrap up. Grandma 3. You see, I have a bees. I usually use the A to duplicate from, and that's why it got messed up. 
rename a edit and then where is it b And that's really all we have to do. Cool, and we're done. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope this helped with your project. And if you hit any roadblocks or stumbled along the way, please let me know if there was any information missed. Um, I would love to revisit this video if I didn't get it 100% and make it 100%. So thank you everybody for watching. Have safe gigs. I'll hopefully see you guys out there. Later.